Guys, the day is here. We are finally starting on a BMW i8 after about seven months, I think. So the plan today is we're gonna start on the back end, get the rear suspension off and get the new suspension on so that we can move the car around because at the moment, we've got to have it standing up, the wheels don't turn, it is an absolute nightmare. I'm not doing this project on my own, I've obviously got Stuart's help and I'm also getting a little bit of help off of another guy called Lee. We're just trying to get this done as quickly as possible because it's been sat around for so long. So all hands on deck, try and get the i8 done because this is gonna be a difficult one. Because I've actually never seen an i8 rebuild on YouTube, so I think I might be the first one. <laughs> round of applause, round of applause. It's probably because they're so hard to do that nobody else has done it, but that's what I'm here for, eh? To try something new. We're gonna start on the back end, get it stripped off of the Cat B one that we've got over there, and then get the wheels put onto this one so that then we hopefully put it on the ramp and start working on that front end. So let's see how it goes, guys. If you're new here, then welcome. My name's Henry Arnold, and we are rebuilding a BMW i8. If you're a returning subscriber and you've been waiting this for so long, then the days are finally here. We're gonna get this. Look at the state of it. Look at the state of it. We're gonna get this back up to road condition, and I'm gonna be driving it around in approximately two months, giving us two months. And if you don't know, we've got a Cat V1 sat here, which has got every single part that we need to fix it. So in theory, it should be taking them off that one and put it on that one. But you know with cars, guys, it's never as easy as you think it's gonna be. This has got airbag damage, front end damage, back end damage, undercarriage damage. This is gonna be a tough one. So buckle your seat belts, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned in, watch for the episodes, and let's rebuild this i8 together. Coming in, let's go. Just look in the back of here quickly though. AMG spoiler, ready to go on. That'll be on this week at some point, so stay tuned for that upload. So look in here quickly and I'll show you what is bent and what needs changing. Both of the top suspension arms are bent. This one here is really bent. That's why you can see that it's holding the wheel at a funny angle. There is a little bit of alley that is cracked off of the top of the shock so we're going to change the full shock and then the anti-roll bar link down here is also bent those three bits and the shock change should then mean a wheel will sit on there nice and flush and perfect then that is one out of the four wheels let's get going i actually had to leave stuart here and let him crack on but isn't it amazing how fast he's working imagine if you get staffed that quick all he's doing here is stripping off the rear hub the rear suspension arms taking the whole caliper off so we can put a new one on. Guys, little problem. Look what me and Stuart have just found. The drive shaft has completely ripped out and I do not know what it's pushing up against at the moment. Hopefully it hasn't gone into the gearbox or anything. It's not too hard to change, but that's another little bit of damage that we didn't know. Thank God we got a Cat B or we would have to go to BMW and order even more stuff. So yeah, let's get that off and let's get that one on. Guys, we've got more bad news. The gearbox is literally sitting on the under tray. The mounts for the gearbox have snapped. That is why the drive shaft has snapped because it hit against here. And look, you can see that is bent there. Oh dear. This is like a can of worms. This is not good. This is gonna be one hell of a rebuild. There's so many components to this that need fixing. But on the other news, we've got the suspension arm off. We've got the hub off. We've got the caliper off. And uh, that one, we're gonna go and put that one on <laughs> once we can figure out how to fix everything that's going on under there. Because we can't even get the boot open at the moment. So uh, I'll check back into you once we've got an answer to get the boot open. Because once we can get the boot open, we can see the engine and everything. Look, I'll demonstrate it to you on this one. Stuart, can you just pass me the key or to this one? Actually, I've got the key in my pocket. What should happen is when you get this key and you hold down that button. Oh, let me shut it. It's shut now. When you hold down that button there, you should get. Now this one's not doing it. Cosmic. Press it again. There we go. Now it opens. Easy as that. Should open like that. And then the engine's under here. Got to unbolt all that stuff. Chuck me that key. When we go over to the very, very broken one. Nice key though, I must say. You hold it down. 
and uh, absolutely nothing. I don't know what to do. We're going to keep working on it. Maybe there's a manual override. I don't know. Comment below if you know anything about BMs because we might not even know by the end of this episode. 1% progress, 10% unprogress. That ain't a word. Is that the worst pass to parcel game ever? You keep unwrapping layers and the presents just get worse and worse and worse. I'm just praying that there's no damage to the carbon tub. <sighs> Happy days. This is so strange. This rear bumper is literally clipped, just clipped in. Look, these little clips hold it in. Everything, even the side panel, just clipped in. I've never known a car to just clip together like that. Normally you have to unbolt and undo bolts. Literally there was two bolts that hold the license plate on and then we can get this off. So hopefully we get this off and we might be able to get this bit off, which is the full rear bumper, and then get the boot open so we can start jumping inside. There was five bolts along the bottom of the rear bumper, which we had to take out. And once they come off, the bumper literally slotted together like Lego and was so easy to take apart. Never took a bumper off so fast in my life. Then we just disconnected the cameras and the wires and the thing was off, mad. Well guys, it's safe to say that was a lot easier than expected. That rear bumper come off in literally five minutes. There are a few broken bits in the corner of that, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to put the full rear end of that one on. I'm actually thinking now I might put as much of that one on as possible and then spray the rest of it silver and then wrap over the top of it because I think I'm gonna black it out and do it a fully black I8. But that, those panels on that one are all okay, whereas this one, I don't know what's gonna be damaged when we start undoing it. But hopefully we can get the boot open now because we've basically got the whole rear end off happy days i didn't film the moment i popped the boot open but it was so easy all i did was slide my hand up behind that back panel and just fiddled around until i could feel the boot catch release and it popped up straight away and then i decided to have a rummage around in the boot for about 30 minutes which i'm not gonna not gonna show on camera because it's super boring the rear court was actually damaged in the accident so i decided that next job was to take it off it fitted together with a series of plastic clips. Honestly, this car is assembled like no other car I've ever worked on in my life. There was about six or seven bolts underneath, but other than that, it was about working out where the clips were and trying to get your fingers on them. And it was a nightmare. There were clips in places, which I don't even think Voldemort would be able to get his long gangly white fingers up there. It was terrible. And I've got little chubby digits, so let me tell you, it was hard. Then it was about just wiggling it, finding the slots, and eventually, after we got the rear light out, and after I searched for ages, a lot of shaking later and a lot of braking, I managed to find where they needed to be, and there was one clip that was right up near the front, which is almost impossible to get your fingers on. But I did it, and we got it off. Bosh. So we're gonna call it a day now, guys. We've got the rear quarter off, we've got the boot open. Come and have a look at this. This is very, very bad. You will probably never have seen anything this bad in your whole life. There's the air filter, that is so messy. But look at this. Look at the state of this. That is the gearbox mounts there. Look, and look where the gearbox is. It's dropped off. So that's where it used to be mounted. And that's it now. That is so bad. Because it was a drug dealer's car, I thought we might have found some cocaine in there that I could then sell and pay for the rebuild, but unfortunately, we haven't. There is loads. I'll put the video on. I've just shut the. I'm getting out of the I've just shut the boot. No. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, took about an hour to do. We'll get that back open in the morning. But yeah, the gearbox is hanging off. Oh, it's terrible. They found over £700,000 worth of cocaine in the car. When he was uh, when he was caught, so I was hoping he might have left a tiny little bit in there, but you never know. You never know. Anyways, you can clip. You can really see inside here now. See the damage. Look, that is the fucking drive shaft. Gearbox is hanging. Pipes and everything off under there. Rear quarter off. Bumper off. Headlight out. Everything there. That is. One of the easiest strips I've ever done though, because everything just comes off like Lego. It literally clips together and then unclips. So easy, but on the same token, so difficult because everything's so brittle and just snaps straight away. I've definitely snapped a couple of bits when I pulled off the rear bumper. So you have to be extra careful when I'm stripping that one and putting the new parts on. But that is today's, today's episode finished guys. 
bad news with the drive shaft, bad news with the gearbox, but we're making progress. I can see this being like a 20 part series, so make sure you subscribe and watch because this is gonna be one hell of a roller coaster, and when it's done, you are gonna to wanna to see this. It's gonna be insane. As I say, that's enough for today. Make sure you subscribe, I'll see you guys next time. Get out from my feet.